Hey guys, and welcome to Summer's fifth and probably last for a while tech episode. Let's shoopity wop right into it. Number one. Ults to extend the silence on someone you revealed as having their ultimate through hack. This ensures that you're getting an additional high priority target with it, along with any collateral targets, and could also make the difference in the current duel. Killing an enemy with their ult is an added plus as you're robbing them of valuable time to charge towards their next ult, of total ultimates per game due to this, and of overall game influence due to this. Number 2. Stealth when you need to reload, as you can reload during it, and otherwise always hit the reload command after stealthing as it's free. It's pretty clear as to why this is good, I just wanted to clear up for anybody watching this that this is even a possibility. Number 3. If you're contesting an enemy Sombra, you want to keep as many health packs hacked as possible, leaving no period of time where the hacks are down. This is because enemy Sombras cannot hack a health pack that you've previously hacked, but you can. So you should rehack these health packs to maintain control over them. An easy way to keep track of hacked health packs is to note the second that you hacked it, and return to it the next time that number is achieved a minute later. Keeping the health packs perpetually hacked prevents the enemy Sombra from having as much of an influence, as one of Sombra's main roles is to maintain map control. You can have up to three health packs hacked perpetually using this strategy. Number 4. Skip the kill cam after you've died as Sombra, and instead, spend your time calling out where low health enemies are. Sombra's passive is to see enemies with less than 50% health through walls, and this persists through her death, allowing you to see enemies through the spectator cam of your allies. The information that you're getting through this, along with you now dedicatedly calling out this information, is more valuable than the information that you're going to get by watching the death cam. Number 5. EMP high in the air as it has huge vertical range and will circumvent most walls in open space that would have obstructed it. Translocator is going to allow you to do this easily, and stealth is a great follow up to this. The additional midair jump that EMP grants will keep you from falling into enemies before your stealth, to result in you EMPing in the most optimal position to hit as many targets as possible without giving the enemy much of an opportunity to follow up on you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm popping in at the end here again to encourage you that if you've been following this series for a long time, please go ahead and head to my Patreon and pledge a dollar or so. It really helps me out, and actually doing this would be impossible if not for my patrons. I love all you guys.